Harley Davidson of Baltimore. Today we got our first FXDR, the newest soft tail in the Harley Davidson soft tail family. Fresh off the truck, we've had a few people out on a test ride and everything that we get back right now is it's awesome. It's a different type of ride for a soft tail, lighter, more nimble, styled are totally different from some of the others. But quite honestly, you got to get on it to believe it. It's got a lot of neat handling features. Come on down, do a test ride, check out the newest FXDR from Harley Davidson of Baltimore. got to be one of the neatest soft tail designs I've seen in a while. This FX DR being the brand new Harley off the production line with a 114 motor. It handles like no other soft tail we've seen in a while. This thing's got that intake, that air intake is huge and it muscles through. The other piece I found, and you might find the same, it's light. It handles, it's got a low center of gravity and it's nimble. It's very well balanced. It's very easy to, uh, to make a turn. And um, in order to really kind of throw it around, it's very minimal effort, uh, especially with the weight, it really picks up and goes. And I really like the exhaust sound on it, especially being brand new. It's got a good note to it. Uh, yeah, it's definitely quick though, for sure. And the, the styling on it is, uh, it's probably one of the best styling, especially when it comes to a new model, uh, especially with the paint, they incorporated the orange all throughout the bike. It's really, really cool, uh, very aggressive. The accents, as far as styling, really does make a lot of the components stick out. Gloss and matte finishes. You got that bronze type look along with the pinstripe. Don't forget that racing number that, one right up there. This is really cool here. It's discreet, but man, it's bold too, sitting right on top of the tank. In the turns, this thing hugs the ground. You can drag foot pegs pretty easy on this bike if you're not if you're not careful. But it can be very aggressive in the turns, and it's easy to put back and forth. Even with the wider rear tire, this bike is nimble in a turn. It doesn't feel like you got to push it. It just goes over naturally. So as you roll through the trip meter here, you can scroll through, and you'll be able to see your RPMs, your miles per hour, miles to empty, uh, trip A and trip D. But it's a nice, very clean display. Uh, also incorporates your fuel gauge right up front too. And the really cool thing that they added on is the handlebars are even clamped or clamp on directly to the forks. Neat part too is these light. The lighting is all LED on this. The turn signals, the headlamp, and very minimalistic. Even on the back, when you get back to the fender, the back fender is going to have LED lamps back there as well. The back passenger pillion will pop off, and P and A offers. A seat that'll snap right in there. As soon as you add that, you should put on some foot pegs for the passenger. It also offers a small storage space back here too, uh, to allow for as you're going down the road a wallet, or phone, or things like that. And very quickly, no tools required. Snaps right back on, no no grommet, and you're ready to ride again. My first thought was when I got on, this was going to be in the way. But boy, when you sit on it, it feels good with the extended uh, controls not in the way at all. In fact, quite honestly, you can almost hear the air coming in that thing. It's aggressive in terms of the air intake. Yeah, and the location of it, it really got it up out of the way as opposed to some of the heavy breathers that bump right into your knee. Uh, the nice thing is it kind of brought it up and out, made, gave it a much sportier look. And uh, Like I said, I keep saying aggressive. It's very aggressively styled and it rides as aggressive as it looks.